Hello everybody, my name is Violet Chantal. Oh my god, did the light just die on me? Did y'all see that? I'm keeping that in. Oh, oh, okay, we back? We, 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 what is happening? Okay, I, I don't know what's happening. We're, we're, this, this is not scripted. That This is some spooky stuff happening, coincidentally. Um, I, I might know how to fix this. Let me turn off that, like, Yankee scent plug. Scent plug, that's not scent plug. The, uh, warm, the, the, what are they called? Not wax. What are they? It's, I'll figure it out in a second. Milk cups. There we go. Okay, that little thing is off. Sometimes that causes the power in here to be a little wonky. I think we're good, though. I think we're okay. Okay, so anyways, now that the spookiness is over, let's get into another exciting event for this year's Halloween. Everybody, finally, finally, finally. It hasn't been a long of a wait, of course, in the grand scheme of things. But for us, XO... It has been a little bit of a wait for this. Oh my goodness, here we go. This is probably the most excited I've ever been to do a reaction to like any of Abel's singles. It's about to be Halloween, so I'm excited. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm dressing up for it. Why not? You know, wait, her Daphne's scarf is, is bad. I bought this Daphne costume two years ago when I went to go see Scooby-Doo at midnight. <laughs> this was really early into my transition. Um, and this scarf is, it's a really cheap costume. Uh, so the scarf, I, you know, you, 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 Sure, that works. Sure, that that works. It looks it looks horrible. But anyway, wait, wait, wait. Um, wait. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Um, but anyways, as I said, I'm dressing for the theme for Halloween. Uh, so we have this song, Stop Hollow, uh, releasing on Halloween, and just like I have been listening to the live version of this from the Sao Paulo concert and the iHeartRadio Festival performance. Was it iHeartRadio Festival? Yeah, I believe Las Vegas. I've been listening to those versions so, so, so much. I see that it is the full version, the full five minutes. It isn't high-res lossless, so I am assuming that Mike Dean mastered this one. Uh, you know, the second I see it's 88.2 kilohertz, I'll know it's Mike Dean uh, or not. <laughs> but uh, I'm assuming it's Mike Dean mastering this, which uh, is exciting. I, I am just like... Oh my goodness, I just can't wait to hear the studio version. Uh, let, let's just get into it. Honestly, like, let, let's just do it, because this is five minutes. You know, I don't know how much I'm going to have to say after the five. Well, we'll see. I, I just want to hear this. Let, let, let's just do this. I'm quickly, though, going to fix this, because this is driving me absolutely crazy. Okay, how is... You know, it's not great. <laughs> but, okay, you know what? That's not, like, horrible. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. My hair be doing it. I don't know what's going on in my hair right now. Uh, but anyways, uh, we're here. We're here for this song. So let's let's just do this. Okay. So we got we got we got the full song right here. So we got Sao Paulo uh, by the weekend and Anita, which is very exciting. Shout out to Brazil. Um, I also quickly uh, want to say this cover art is amazing. Like I absolutely adore this cover art. It just has this sort of like grandness to it, but also just like simplicity that I really, really like. And it has that same like textile that the Timeless cover art had. I just think that it's just so cool. And it kind of makes the Timeless cover art thinking about it make a bit more sense. Cause I'm pretty sure the Timeless one had like a, yeah, had like a mask also on that. So yeah, I guess we're, there's a lot of, as people have been pointing out, there's been a lot of stuff about like masks and stuff, you know, and music right now, you know, cause Chromacopia with how the creator just came out, which very much deals with this kind of same themes. That album is incredible. It's a good time if you're, if you're a fan of metaphorical mask type stuff uh, in your music. Uh, but yeah, so anyways, let's just get into it. Th this is, this is the time, y'all. This is how I've been waiting for this. Ooh, th this is, ooh, okay, let's just, let's just do this. I'm so glad to single. Happy Halloween, freaking lean, everybody. Let's just do this. Okay, here we go. The reaction <laughs> says, Sob Hollow by The Weeknd and Anita in three, two, one, play. Okay. Okay, okay. I'll turn it up. I'll turn it up. Fuck it. There we go. Yo, those stiff strikes go crazy. Oh, shit. We're so bad. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. Wait, we're not bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, okay. Drop it, drop it. Drums are synchronized and that rhythm that this has, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Oh, that bass goes crazy! Oh, shit! Oh, yo, 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 fuck the scar, fuck the scar, oh, shit! Okay, let me try to get the translations for Anita's lyrics quickly. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, first before I get into the lyrics, actually, let me quickly just say uh, that the production side of things. I will say the sound of this, I my only complaint about the mixing and the production on this is, is I wish it had a little bit more ambiance to like the sound staging. Um, and the way that, like, things are mixed, because it's a very, like, direct, punchy mix, which Mike Dean does an amazing, incredible job of doing mixes like that. I think that guy just gets, he just tweeted about it the other day, but that man just keeps getting better and better with mixing, in my opinion. Like, it's incredible. Um, and the way that I feel like they all decided to mix this one was, like, a very, like, direct, punchy, sort of, like, big, boomy kind of sound, but I feel like it kind of lacks a little bit of the ambiance that made it feel so like in involving and so just like you feel it a little bit more in that live performance because of that, of that that extra just like details and just like I don't know how to describe it like it just has like an ambiance to it and a sound staging that is missing from the live version if that makes sense but it's still very very good in my opinion it, I still think it's very very good okay if these lyrics that I have up here I am correct, uh, like translation wise, I do sincerely apologize. Uh, but let's, let's get into this. Uh, so, according to Genius.com's English translation of this song, uh, it goes, 
put it in the mouth, put it on the face, put it wherever you want. That repeats. And then it goes, the young dude looked at me and wanted to fuck my little pussy. Today I'll give it to the young dude. Fuck, fuck. The... And I know that, I think this term is just another term for like vagina. Uh, but it says like, lar ish in ha. Uh, I, I can't, I can't say that word. I'm so sorry. I think that's fire. I, I, I think that is fire. I, it fits the song well. It, I, it's just so just like confident. It's just so just like fun. And I don't know, I, I, I vibe with that heavy. But ooh, here we go. Let's let's. This is where the song gets crazy. It, it, it starts crazy. It keeps going crazy. Every time I try to run, you put your curse all over me. I surrender at your feet, baby. Put it all on me. Every time I try to pray away, you got me on my knees. I surrender at your feet, baby. Put it all on me. I love it when you turn me on. I love when you turn them on their pizza. So come back in and turn it on. Turn me on. And then it kind of like samples more. It kind of uses like the Anita vocals as like a sample like throughout it, um, you know, like throughout the song and I really, really like that about it. I love the way they incorporate her vocals into it and kind of use it. Like they really make it like an instrument of its own and it adds to like the grandness of the production. Um, but these lyrics right here, every time I try to run, you put your curse all over me. So it's sort of like, you know, every time, you know, like Abel tries to like run away from like this like individual or something, there's sort of like a curse or like a pull that like keeps getting back to him. And it's like this like curse of like vulnerability kind of in a way, you know, there's just this like power and hold this person has over you, you know, even though you try to run so often and stuff like that, like your curse, you know, you put your curse all over me. So it's like, you're like, they're like consumed by this person. You know, I surrender at your feet, baby, put it all on me. So now it's like, I surrender, like, give me all of your energy and like all of your love or you know, whatever, you know, I, every time I try to pray away, you got me on my knees. That is, okay, that is actually such a good line. Every time I try to pray away, like, you know, praying on my knees, you got me on my knees, like, you know, like bowing down, surrendering. <laughs> My, oh, that, that is that is such a good line. Oh my god, I surrender at your feet, baby, put it on me. I love it when you turn me on. Oh my god, and that repeats to so come back in and turn it on. Oh my god, just like, that is so, so good. Oh my goodness, I love that so much. Like, come back in and turn it on. Like, you know, like, like that power you have, like, come back in and, like, turn it on. Like, turn me on. Like, that, that that's amazing. Turn me on, that repeats. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Um, and then we have like the lyrics like again repeating and repeating again by like Anita and The Weeknd and oh my god and then we have like the second part of the song and this is where like it, it, it oh my god I, I, this is where it gets really really good baby ride me to the darkness of the night kill me softly like you want me euthanize euthanize I can't sorry I'm I'm I'm, I'm I am just in a whole other mode right now <laughs> you euthanize oh yeah Hot like rising sun, burning everything she touched. She don't even want your money. Came right here with someone else. She's addicted to the rush. I could never get enough. She's desensitized to money. Need to pay with something else. Baby, you turn me on. Oh my God. So, baby, ride me to the darkness of the night. You kill me softly like you want me euthanized. Oh yeah. So, you know, just like these like, these like pleasures and like this like sex and just like in like the darkness of the night where it's like you know, like, your biggest vulnerabilities are coming out, and, like, you know, like, 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 the sort of, like, the real kind of you really comes out in that kind of, like, dark time of night, and it's, like, this sort of just, like, sex, like, pleasure sort of, like, just, like, grandness kind of thing, kill me softly, like, you want me euthanized, like, it, it's, like, it's, like, kill me softly, uh, you know, but we're in this, like, very, like, grand emotional kind of setting, Hot like rising sun, burning everything she touched. So you don't even want your money. Came right here with someone else. So doesn't even want the money. You know, she's like addicted to the rush. And you know, you know that this is like a concept that Abel has explored before. Like, you know, definitely, especially on like on the trilogy, I'd say, especially like Echoes of Silence and stuff like that. I mean, with all the trilogy mixtapes, so, like I really think about like the last track on Echoes of Silence, you know, like, you know, like I want the thrill. It makes me feel this real, you know, for example. And she's, so she's addicted to the rush. I could never get enough. She's desensitized to money. You need to pay with something else. That, that's so fire. Baby you turn me on, you turn me on, girl, you turn me on, and then we got the rest. Hit it from the back, she louder than two sold out nights. I think she fell in love, she said she trusts me with her life. Ah, oh my gosh. Hot like rising sun, burning every shot, the whole thing repeats, and then keeps going and going, and then, and then we have the take it easy on me part, and it's like, it, it's sort of like this, like, this, like, story, kind of. It's sort of like its own, like, odyssey and journey, in a way, of going from, like, like, every time I try to run away, your curse comes all over me, you know? And then we go into, like, the Abraham attacks the night, can we stop, like, I'm euthanized. Uh, let's see, Dick to the Rush, all this. And then, and then it goes into, I love the way you turn it on, turn me on. 
So now I gotta turn it on. And then it goes into like, like the take it easy on me part. So now it's like this just sort of like, like subtle, simple sort of like, take it easy on me, you know? And like kind of like repeats and repeats. It's sort of like, we're like, just like repetition of it. And I love like looping and repeating kind of things. And like, so we start off him trying to run away, but then gets kind of like lusted back into it. Or it's like this power comes over him. And then like, you know, like these like, you know, enjoyments kind of start happening and this kind of, like, dissection of, like, the character and, like, the dynamic and relationships there and the interactions and, just, you know, just in general with everybody. And then it goes to take it easy, easy on me. And so it's kind of, like, this, like, now, like, we're really, like, getting into, like, the soul search kind of, like, moment of, like, you know, take it easy on me, you know? But then it kind of just, like, concludes again with those, like, Anita vocals. And it's, so it's just sort of this very just, like, back and forth sort of, like, pondering of like you know like ideas and stuff like that but it comes together in this way that is just so just like like um just like grand and huge and enveloping and and, and just like uh just like nobody writes songs quite like able i've always said this but this is like this is such like like his writing is becoming even more sophisticated like, i've really been feeling that since like i would say like like kind of like he kind of began, I felt like, I'm a dear melancholy after hours, but then on Don FM, like, there's, like, a new level of sophistication to his lyrics and the way that his songs sound and stuff like that, and I feel like he's really, really honing in on it in this one, and, like, really, like, like making, like, even more challenging songs for him, and, of course, when you combine it with, like, that Brazilian funk sound, and, like, Anita did her thing, and, like, this is, like, of course, like, like a love letter to Brazil and, you know, Sao Paulo, and, you know, of course, it's titled Sao Paulo, you know, because of, like, Nadal for Brazil, but also, you know, just, like, the, you know, the inspiration, I'm assuming, kind of, like, came from that area, maybe with, like, the story that he's telling, and I, I just, I just really, really love just, like, that love that, able is showing to Brazil and Anita and I think that is something that is should be celebrated and just like the way that it incorporates sort of his sound uh, with like that funk and just like that sort of like drive and energy and the feeling the song gives you I think it's just fantastic I want to say this on headphones I think to really get a full idea of how I feel about this but th this one y'all th this this is this is a very good one this is a very very good one Oh my goodness. Yeah, that that is sick. That that is so sick. Uh so this might be the last single. This might be the last single before the album comes out. It's been quite the journey so far, everybody. It's been quite the odyssey, you know. You know, there there's just so many different sounds and styles that Abel seems to be going for on this project. It's quite similar to Beauty Behind the Madness in some ways, but it's like very much of course sort of like a tale of like you know, as, like, an artist, just as, like, a person, you know, just, like, sort of, like, what, like, defines you and, like, going back to, like, you know, like, your roots and, like, traumas and, like, what has shaped you into the man you have become. He's explored that, you know, so well in his music, you know, and now we're really diving full and into it, you know, and, like, dissecting, you know, like, the artist and, like, you know, like, kind of, like, like the death of an artist at the same time. Like, there, there's so many ideas. It's very ambitious, you know, and so I am really interested in seeing just how this all fits together onto an album, you know? I I'm interested in how long this album is going to be, honestly, because we've heard, you know, a decent amount, of course, you know, from, like, the concerts and stuff like that. I know there's a song called Open Hearts um, that he performed live recently. I did not listen or watch, like, any performances of that, uh, but I've heard that song is apparently pretty, pretty great. Um, and so I don't know how many uh, songs are going to be on this album. It's just been a very interesting mix of just, like, concepts and ideas and and just feelings and just like different like motivations and I don't know I just I'm really interested in like the direction that we're fully going to go for as a as a as a project overall um but this one is quite good so I guess for the ending I will put this back on wait that is that's not how you put that on Violet I, I don't even know how to put this on I'm gonna keep it real with everybody <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real uh my hair got stuck oh no wait is this like there we go okay that looks so bad okay I'm just gonna keep it um, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, you know what, Violet, just, just share it. That works. Okay. Um, <laughs> alrighty, so that was my reaction to Sao Paulo, the studio version. Oh my goodness. Uh, we're, we're getting closer and closer, everybody. This has been, again, quite the journey so far, and uh, I'm excited to continue it and, you know, see where it goes in the future. To so anybody who watched this whole thing, just thank you so, so much as, you know, just... As always, uh, just the support on my evil stuff really means just so much to me. It's an exciting time, and again, you know, happy Halloween, happy holidays to everybody. And I know, and I'm just excited to see just, like, the impact and just, like, the love people have for, the, for this song, you know? I'm excited to see that, uh, you know, because it's a very good one. Um, and so, yeah, so that is that. And uh, I'll see you on whatever the next video is for this Hurry Up Tomorrow era. Oh my goodness, I'll, I'll see y'all then already. Woo!